And then, um, was there a third one? I don't know if there was three. Was that two? I don't know. Here we are. It's a good day today. Hello everybody. Good morning, good afternoon. Wherever you are, it is a cold, clear day here in Connecticut. It's pretty nice outside. A little windy. Got some stuff blowing around out there I probably should go get. But I am going to be canning up some, as my daughter says, cowboys this morning. <laughs> I'm going to be canning cowboy candy, and I'm really excited about it. The recipe is so easy, and it's right off of the Ball Fresh Preserving website. Let's see here, I have it in my kitchen binder. This is the recipe. It's printed right from their website. I probably, you know, didn't realize that the picture that comes with it was gonna be taking up the entire sheet of paper, but it's not necessary to print that part. You can omit it. It's very simple, super delicious. It's kind of more of a, like a relishy condiment type of thing if you've never had it before. It's just, it's sweet and spicy and it's so good on burgers and nachos and anything that you might wanna add that to just to give it a little hot and sweet kick. It's one of our favorite things. I know Steve has been anxiously waiting. And here we are in December. The recipe is called Cowboy Candy on their website. I know lots of people make it. And I just follow the recipe exactly because it is delicious exactly the way that they have it. Over the summertime, I diced and froze a bunch of jalapenos. I just didn't have time to do the canning fresh like I did last year, but when I had made some extra batches of cowboy candy using frozen diced jalapenos last year, it was just as delicious. So it was a great time saver for me just to dice them up and get them in the freezer. And here we are indoors, not gardening, and now I have time to do it. All right, let's go. I have all the bags here of diced jalapenos. I'm gonna double check my freezer upstairs and make sure I didn't stick any in there too. I will link the recipe down in the description box below for you. I'm going to be copying the recipe exactly as they have it. The only difference is I'm not gonna be doing pepper rings. It says to use four pounds of jalapeno sliced into quarter inch rings. I prefer them diced. So I use my, my dicer thing and I put the jalapenos in and I dice them up. They're just like the little squares. All right, so we have about a rough seven and a half pounds of frozen diced jalapenos. The recipe calls for four pounds of sliced peppers. So I'm just gonna double the recipe and that should be more than enough of the brine syrup. Then it says that the recipe makes four pint jars. I'm gonna be using half pint jars and there's a few reasons for that. The first reason is because this size is perfect to fit into my pantry right now. The second is because it is the easiest to serve from. I don't need to put it into another jar. I can just take the lid off and put it with chips or to have a spoon in it to serve as a condiment. This is the best size for the diced cowboy candy, in my opinion. And then, um, was there a third one? I don't know if there was three. Was that two? I don't know. Here we are. It's a good day today. I have uh, all of these washed, ready to go, upside down on a towel over here. And then I have some extras just in case I need it because I'd rather have too many jars ready than none enough. Double the recipe here. So all the ingredients I am listing are mm, the amount that I'm putting in. If you're interested in the recipe, like I said, it will be in the description box below. And let's get into it. All right, so I have the water bath canner with water in it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put the heat on it just to get that warmed up a little bit. We're gonna combine all the ingredients except for the jalapenos in this large saucepan here. So we're gonna start with the six cups of distilled white vinegar, followed by eight cups of sugar. I'm using cane sugar. Four teaspoons of salt. Just a whole bunch of, uh, I don't know how many cloves. I did two, one large head and one small head of garlic from our garden. So I just smashed them and diced them all up. Four teaspoons of ground turmeric. One teaspoon of cayenne pepper. 
and four teaspoons of mustard seed. And I'm gonna give this a good stir and bring turn the heat on to medium high and bring this to a boil. All right, while that is coming up to a boil, I'm gonna get the lids ready, cleaned and washed. Uh, the syrup has come up to a boil and now I'm going to add in the jalapenos. I know I had a couple bags. I think one ended up, I took it out and then forgot about it. So I ended up having to compost it. But I found another bag of jalapenos from October of last year. So I'm gonna be using these as well. I'm gonna let this come up to like a boil and then it's gonna simmer on the stove for about 15 minutes. And then once that's done, I'm gonna start ladling them into the jars. I'm already beginning to feel like I don't have enough jars. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to go get some jars <laughs> from somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where. <laughs> there was a lot of ice on the jalapenos that I probably should have defrosted before I dumped it in. So I dumped it in and then I added a little bit more vinegar to the syrup here, just to keep the acidity. The candied jalapenos have been simmering for about 15 minutes now and now I'm gonna move them over to the jars. I got a couple more of these and I also found that one of our jars has a big hole in the bottom. Some, it must have gotten chipped at some point and I didn't catch it, so I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> I'm glad I caught it and inspected them before I started filling them. So that would have been messy. I'm gonna go ahead and start ladling in the candy jalapenos into the jars. Start by using a slotted spoon and I'm going to ladle the jalapenos into the jars, leaving a half of an inch of headspace and then I'll ladle in some of the brine on top of that once I've packed it down a little bit. Yeah. I'll do one start to finish and then to show and then I'm gonna go through them all. So I have the jar full of the jalapenos. Now I'm gonna ladle in some of the brine or the syrup. And we're going for a half of an inch of headspace here. Get some of the air bubbles out. Check for headspace again how it looks. Now I'm gonna clean off the rim of the jar with a little bit of distilled white vinegar and a rag that doesn't produce any lint. So, t-shirt rag, flour sack towel, just to clean off the rim, because any lint or dust or anything that might, or even like the syrup from the brine, and prevent the lid from completely sealing to it. So this is a wide mouth jar and I'm gonna be adding a wide mouth lid and a band and finger tight, which is just the tips of our fingers and that's it. And that is how it looks. So I'm gonna go through and do all of the rest of the jars. Some jars here, I have six of the wide mouth and one of the regular mouth. Lower those into the water bath canner. And then uh, I'm gonna put the lid on and I'm gonna bring this up to a high heat and let this come up to a boil. And once it's at a steady rolling boil, I'll process in the water bath canner for 15 minutes. 
the timer is going off, so oh, I'm going to turn the timer off and uh, turn the burner off and then take the lid off. Let them sit for five minutes and cool off just very slightly before I move them to a towel on our countertop. I think it's been about five minutes. I don't really know. <laughs> I still have a lot to do. Put them onto this towel here. All right, now I need to reload and start over. <laughs> I'm gonna put the lid on this one. All right, so we got 16 half pint jars and two pint jars of the candied jalapenos. And they look really good. They look exactly the same as they did last year. So hopefully using the frozen peppers doesn't really affect it too much. I did make a batch last year using frozen jalapenos and they it tasted fine and the consistency was the same as if I had used fresh ones so I mean it's more of like a relish type consistency it's not there's no crispiness to the peppers they're definitely soft and it's hot and sweet and it's so such a great condiment to add and it's not anything that I've ever seen that you could purchase in the store here is how they look I really am happy with how they came out and I'm looking forward to adding them to whatever it is that we decide to eat this weekend I did have a little bit left over here so this is way more liquidy than the ones that I canned, but I, I'm putting this in the refrigerator. This is probably about half full, full of actual jalapenos and then the rest is all liquid. But I'm gonna stick this in the refrigerator once it cools off a little bit more. Again, I will have the link to the recipe down below in the description and I think that's it. So, thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time. <laughs> Bye.